and follow procedures with notices as set out by statute and items on the agenda. Number one, to accept the resignation of City Superintendent Mount Chesbro. Two, plan for moving forward. And three, openings in the water and sewer departments. I have a letter here dated June 4th, 2015. States, I will resign my position as City of Superintendent for the City of St. John on June 30th, 2015, for retirement. Signed in Alchesboro. So he is retiring from resigning. I would need a motion to accept his retirement notice. website currently mm -hmm. there is an opening there is a listing for the maintenance and operation worker oh. but there is not one for the supervisor and obviously there's not one for the superintendent at this point so we're all doing typically advertise on well it depends on the uh, position usually usually you guys decide where you want it are you thinking of uh, hiring a superintendent, the same qualification and stuff as my own one, or are you thinking of hiring a city administrator that would be administration over all the department? That would be a decision that the council would need to make. Um, I just throw it out there on the table. No, I thought that might be a good time of the conversation for Saturday morning. Uh, when we have a little more time, um, what I would like the council's approval to do is to have the city attorney research the statutes and whatever we need to do to see what's required to make a shift of that kind, if that's what we're going to do. So may I direct him to do that? Go from the city superintendent to the city manager. Just to do a, re yeah, well, or to do some restructuring. I can give them just a basic overview, if you guys want a basic overview of what that would look like now. Awesome. That would be great. I mean, what you're essentially doing is your council mayor form of government, and you would be going to a council manager form of government, which would require a vote of people. And it's something that a resolution is adopted by the council to put forth to uh, the electors of St. John requesting if they want to change to a, a different form of government and what that form of government would be. The language that goes on the ballot is all statutory. Um, I, what I would need to look at is based on recent changes of law in the last two weeks, I don't know when your city government elections start, eventually they'll get moved in November. <laughs> and I don't know when that happens. There's a, a law recently approved by the legislature, and, and that I think is either odd years or even years your city council elections will occur in November along with the statewide elections. Uh, so it would be on that ballot. 
Um, um, if approved by the electors, you guys would have 60 days in which to uh, choose a, a manager. And there are uh, ways to do statewide searches. Um, certainly, uh, the Kansas League and municipalities can help you find candidates. Uh, there are agencies out there that help find candidates, keep, you know, book of potential candidates, um, and they can find one that fits um, in your, uh, what you guys would anticipate, and then kind of fit within your community. Um, but it, it, it's somebody that provides a layer of, of oversight. The council lose a little bit of their uh, governing control directly over employees because the manager is the one that hires employees. You guys hire the manager. If you don't like how things are going, you direct things to the manager, and the manager then you know, corrects or makes changes. So that you lose a little oversight, so it works better in instances where council members are full time jobs. The mayor would lose a little bit of power because she's not appointing officers. Those people are elected by, or sorry, chosen by the manager. Uh, to some extent, there, there's some, still some people that the mayor would have control over. Uh, so it would require an updating of, of your city code. And then maybe, you know, the League of Kansas Municipality has uh, some codification services. I know you guys have used the people of Wichita codify your ordinances, so that's something that would have to be done in 60 days. But it, it, you know, things can be put in place so that if, if the electors approve a change of government, um, it can happen relatively quickly. Do you remember, did they take this to even person? I, I'm not quite sure if that was what the bill that was on, but uh, I thought it was yesterday be or in November, but it was going to be years to still be odd years, so it wouldn't interfere with the other election. I don't know. But they changed it so many times. But changing it now, we can't do anything. We won't be able to do anything until next year. Change it, it would have to be approved. Well, I'm, not, I don't think that I'm not really big in that idea because, for one, we're putting too many roosters in a very small in house, so to speak. Exactly. And, right. and second of all, um, to me, we're a small enough city that, yes, he needs to do stuff in here too, but he still needs to be a hands-on kind of guy. He still needs to be working with the manager, so to say. And I don't really want to go to having just another office person. Um, I just don't think we're big enough for that. I think right now we ought to leave it how it is. That's the reason I throw it on the table because I didn't know what it was. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't either, but I, I don't know. We're going to have to do something before next year anyway, yeah. so I mean, right. Exactly. right. It's not like we have to make the changes now. No, we can look well, at it down the road. Right, right. but we can look at it down the road here. Yeah, it might be something we can decide to do. It might be something we can decide to do. Right. Okay. Well, in that case, then we need to get where do you guys want to advertise? Um, for the superintendent, I would have. I would advise um, the League of Kansas Municipalities, um, Kansas Works, um, the Hutch News, Great Bend Tribune, local paper and crap paper, um, for the supervisor. Again, if you guys want to contact a former employee and can see what the situation is there, we can go into executive session to do that. Um, or we can advertise. I, I know the, and I, I was looking for our water stuff. I would have to do some checking on it. But the person in charge of the water has to have like a, I think it's a class two license for, because we have a treatment facility. So I think we need to have some when we're putting ads out for people that are qualified in that or something. Uh, we need to have that list to do with that. I mean, nothing against for local paper, but I mean, is it actually getting enough people? Terry, I mean, our local paper, you're going to be tied into monster.com and job.com and all that for huge syndication, and, and you really don't have the option to place a full 
find help on it after us now. We're going to have to go on. We're going to have to put it on monster and pop it off. It's part of the package, so it makes the ad ad expensive. On that. Yeah, it'd be like if you did it at Great Bend or Wichita, does it do the same thing or not? No, Wichita, you pay for Wichita Eagles paper and then whatever. They may have worked out with some online. I think they have some worked out with WichitaJobs.com or something like that. But see, K House Media, we're in with Top Jobs and Monster.com, and then we have 15, 15 affiliates here in Kansas that you can run it in if you really wanted to go that route. But, you know, running it here in our paper locally, I don't know if you've got that kind of can base for that here in town. Well, that's what I was but, trying to. It would kind of be a slight to your citizens to not give somebody locally the option of them have to feel like I gotta have I gotta read the great bit of trivia in order to find out about a job here in my own town. You know, so I can see that, but I'll be honest with you, I think we're ungodly expensive for advertising. <laughs> but you could go through Pratt and then do it through Pratt and do a combo rate with Pratt and St. John and then the monster and top jobs. And that just might run a free story. Yeah, and we'll do that too. Yeah, and we'll do that too. I mean, there will be a there will be a story in there, but unfortunately, my dogs will be having this crazy thing called we like to eat. So. Okay, so do we want to go through the Tribune and do a combo ad with the local paper? I don't. Yes. I'll I mean, be fine if, with it. if you're. I mean, I know when I was running ads, it was I did the crap. Same thing.
Yeah. Well, I suggest we get some ads put the paper. Yeah. Immediately. And, and, and nothing prohibits the mayor from, the uh, mayor is the one that's going to report somebody from contacting somebody she thinks may be a good candidate to fill in those shares. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to speak up for in here, but the Pratt has a new online thing. It's like 25 bucks to run a chamber. Well, I just I'd soon have it out there as much as we can. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, and Mel will be here until the end of the month. And I don't. We might ask him if he does have any applications for people that are from the past that have applied or something. Yes. At least it is available to see what we 